hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i will show how you can install git in windows 11 so without wasting any time let's get started let me open a browser window first then search for git and press enter so i'll click on the first link from this page simply click on download for windows To download it, just click on click here to download. And it will get downloaded. Let me minimize the window. So Git has been downloaded on my desktop. I will simply double click it. now go through the license agreement and click on next here you can select a different folder but i will install it in the program folder so i'll simply click on next now you can select the components you want to install i'll leave everything as default just click on next here you can select start menu folder i'll go with the default one click on next here you can select the default editor so let me have a look at it as you can see Vim is the default text editor there are some other editors as well since I do not have any other editor installed right now I will simply select the notepad as Git's default editor and then simply click on next here you can give the name of the initial branch in new repositories but I will leave it as default simply click on next here you can adjust your path environment I will also leave it as default as recommended just simply click on next here you can choose the SSH executable I will go with the inbuilt open SSH client so I will simply click on next here you can choose the HTTPS transport backend. I will go with the OpenSSH library and click on next. Here you can configure the line ending conversions. So I will go with the recommended one. Simply click on next. Here you can configure the terminal emulator to use with git bash. I will go with the minty the default terminal. So simply click on next. Now you can choose the default behavior of git pool. I will go with the default one. Just click on next. In the credential helper section, I will select the git credential manager and click on next. Here I can configure extra options. I will go with the enable file system caching. If you prefer enable symbolic links, you can check that. But I will go with the default one. So click on next. Here I can select any experimental options. I will not select any of them for this tutorial. Once I am done, I will simply click on install. So now Git has been successfully installed on my system. I can simply launch it from here. Let me check launch git bash and click finish. As you can see this is the git command line window. Here we can perform any operations we want. Let me close this window. We can also access git bash from right clicking anywhere in the window. And then clicking show more options. And then clicking git bash here. So it will open git bash inside a current directory. So this is how you can install git on windows 11. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.